Mike. Hey, man, what's up? How does it feel to be uh, shorter than me? Like, do you just... Do you want me to actually sit up right while you stand? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how does this feel? Yeah. Uh, I'll stand if you no, want. No, come on, no, don't stand. No, uh, he's already standing, he's just kidding. Just okay. Stand. Anyways, uh, we have a beer we're going to review, uh, because we're going to review another beer right afterwards. That's pretty special, a special meeting, but we're going to do this one first. This is Hill Farmstead's Edward. Uh, this is courtesy of everybody, Larry. He he was recently up in uh, Vermont, and he brought this down. This was canned on eight seven. Today is eight eighteen. So Pretty fresh. Is, yeah. So Edward is Hill Farms says pale ale. Uh, couldn't find the hops. I know it's American hops, but a homebrew recipe said like Chinook, Cascade, Warrior. Uh, Interesting. All the all the old. Yeah. Old school. But yeah, I haven't had this since forever. Uh, no, I haven't had in years. Which is kind of why we're doing it this way. Yeah, makes sense. You'll understand when the next video comes up. I guess I could just tell everyone the next video is. Uh, no, just they can they can find out. I mean, let me sit. Actually, I'll, I guess I'll sit. <laughs> I'm gonna just not do that. I'm just, just gonna just do this. Okay. Anyways, all right, here we are. Um, this looks like a pale ale. It's very golden, burnt orange. Yeah, this is this looks like uh, what beers looked like back then. Back when. <laughs> back when this was brewed originally. 11 days ago originally <laughs> so yeah i mean it's just like burnt orange uh although i i do have some sediment in mine Probably really like, yeah oh yeah i do no you do i do you don't because you at the top of the can yeah. you here we are freaking that's what well, i do that's what i do i was gonna say a bad word it looks awesome and the, it, no, it does. And the head's sticking around yep. like the head retention just, is yeah it looks it just looks ultra creamy too like, oh look at God. look at that it's gorgeous it's amazing I got a nose. So it. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. So th this is the thing that uh, Hill Farms that does uh, everything right. That's what they do. <laughs> it's a shame. Well, it's not a shame, but it's like. Yeah. I mean, this smells incredible. The cereal grains are right up there. Oh yeah. There's like that hoppiness, a little bit of bitterness, like fresh cut grass, lemon. Oh, oh yeah. My you get just a little bit of caramel. You get like a like a squeeze of citrus. You almost like some citrus zest. Uh, it 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 smells juicy, but also vegetal. Yeah. Uh, it, it, you can definitely smell like sort of like that cascady kind of a smell. Yeah. What are the hops in this one again? Uh, so they they don't say what the hops are. So officially oh. they don't say what the hops are. But a, 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 a homebrew. Um, Clone said, Centennial, Chinook, Columbus, Simcoe, and Warrior. Interesting. Which, for an old school paleo like this, that, that makes total sense. Yeah, it does. It almost, had, it almost has a cascade kind of thing to yeah. it. Too, and how know? often do you see Warrior? Oh, not in 10 years. Yeah. You know? That's it. Cheers. Cheers, bud. Thanks, Larry. If we were real friends, we'd be like, you want to do a review with us? No. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's nice. It's dry. It's crisp. Easy, easy drinking. Um, it has all those flavors we got on the nose. Um, I don't think he knows what an off flavor is. Sean Hill? Yeah, just <laughs> has no idea. He's never, he's never, he's never tasted it himself. No, <laughs> just gets it perfect every time. Like it is, and like when you think pale ale, right? You're gonna think the quintessential Sierra Nevada pale ale, right? Yeah, I mean that's quintessential. That's if you're talking about like an American pale, that's how, if anyone asks me what an American pale is, that's what I would tell them to try. This has that level, a little bit less level of bitterness, but the the way the malt and the caramel aspect kind of comes through a little bit mm -hmm. more. It, it is in the crispness. It's so crisp. It's it's so crisp for a pale ale. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because we think of pale ale now, it's basically just a lower ABV IPA. It's a session. It's a session doing that. Yeah. <laughs> and this is a pale ale. This is outstanding. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's absolutely perfect. It, it, it has, has all those things you want, especially in, like, sort of the traditional American pale ale. I mean, it's a little more complex, I think, than, like, a Sierra Nevada. But, I mean, you're looking at th that, that nice, not bracing, but just nice, pleasant bitterness. You're getting some, that uh, almost, like, grapefruit rind. Yep. You're getting um, a nice vegetal note. You're getting that grassiness. It's those, it's those things you're kind of looking for, especially when you're talking about like a, a traditional American pale. And it's, yeah. it's beautiful. It's a great beer. And everyone's going to be like, oh, it's Hill Farms, but of course it's good. But yeah, of course it of is. Of course it is. Like, of course it is. And but like, it's wait, always... what are we supposed to do? Not review it, though? 
Right. Like, imagine if they, if, they, if, they, if, if you could get this in like a 12 pack of, of like 12 ounce cans, bring to a cookout. Then again, I said that, and as I was saying it, I'm like, would it be as good? Because at that point, it'd be ma- more, more mass produced, let, less care going into it. Yeah. Like, this is like the perfect pale ale. Like, it is yep. outstanding. It's awesome. I love it. Down in the comments, Hill Farm said, Edward. Uh, Hill Farm says American Pale Ale coming at 5.2%, I think. It's not on the can. And it said, also it says, keep below 40 degrees and consume fresh. Well, we did. We did that. So, yeah, down the comments. Intersend.net, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, those are things. Like, comment, subscribe, those notification bells. You can find me posting videos. And I'm Sean. I'm Mike. And this, and this is, is Nerd Sense. Sense. I don't know why I talk like the Micro Machines guy. Yeah, I got way quick on that one. <laughs> 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 <laughs>